Yes, I actually am. Uh, my current institution, I have the rank of associate professor. I've taught at three different community or state colleges uh, in three different states uh, since 2001 when I received my first uh, full-time appointment. I do not have a PhD. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I'm a professor. I left a doctoral program where I was pretty far along because I knew I wasn't going to stay in research. I uh, took a master's degree and have been teaching for close to 20 years now, full-time, more than 20 years, if you count my time in graduate school. A lot of professors at community and state colleges tend to specialize in one or two classes. Uh, I'm that rare jack-of-all-trades, so my bread and butter is anatomy and physiology. I've taught tons of that over the years, but I also teach microbiology on occasion, uh, bio one or cell biology for majors, bio two, organismal biology for bio majors. I've taught anatomy and physiology and general biology for non-majors. I've taught environmental science. Um, and I've also designed and taught several times a research methodologies course. And if you go back to graduate school, uh, I also taught courses in animal diversity, uh, invertebrate zoology, comparative vertebrate anatomy, uh, and eco ecological research techniques. Actually, as of this month, I've been working either part-time or full-time in the sciences for 30 years. I did my, my first job when I was in high school was actually doing bacteriological research part-time during the school years, full-time during the summers. Uh, I've worked in, besides that, I spent two summers working at an oil refinery doing organic chemistry and the quality testing labs. I've worked in a linology lab doing database organization. Uh, I've done research assistant work at a Phytotron. I was a research assistant doing marine ecological and biochemical research for, for close to a year. Uh, I've been in a lot of different areas of, of science, mostly biology, uh, for, for going on 30 years now. Oh, absolutely. I'm happy to talk about it. The videos are aimed predominantly at college biology students, especially at the freshman sophomore level, though they're good for any college biology or graduate student for that matter, and, and certainly appropriate for a lot of high school students. Um, they're all constructed to provide a lesson in five minutes or less on a focused topic or a very small number of collected topics that are, are closely related. So each video is very focused. Um, it's bite-sized. Uh, it's me interacting with animation typically to really just get across a lesson that is based on my multiple decades of work both in the sciences but, but as an educator and helping students to see patterns of relationship and recognize how different topics fit together in biology. Well, most of the videos as whole videos run a little over five minutes. In fact, some of them are up to six and a half minutes for the total video. The instructional piece, the lesson that I'm teaching is almost always five minutes or less. I think so far I've only had two videos that went over five minutes. You have five minutes of instruction in the animator, so me and the animation, and that's always followed by what can be up close to a minute of summary. And so these are just slides that have text that summarizes what I've just gone through. A uh, great place to pause and, and take notes if that's your thing. Uh, and then there's always a little piece at the end that's a little bit light, uh, intended to you know, promote the channel and, and get people excited. Because I, I love biology, uh, I love science, I'm excited about it. Um, I, I think science should be fun. And so I'm trying to bring a sense of humor and fun to the video. So are the videos all under five minutes? No, but the lessons are. Yeah, actually, if you go back to my time in high school, I do have something of a fine arts background. A um, little bit, not, not gifted, not skilled, but, but a fine arts background. And I'm a pretty fast learner on the computer, so 100% of the animation you're seeing in all of these videos are graphics that I've designed myself and assembled into the animation that you see. Okay, so I select my topics myself and put them together based on lessons I've taught over the years. I do my own animation and, and direction for the most part. I do have a small group of assistants. Um, my stage manager slash assistant director, Big Al. Uh, my 
costume supporter Gigi and uh, and then Squish to Fish who plays multiple roles uh, they all support this project um, but the but the bulk of the material comes from me but I do have a support staff unpaid unpaid volunteers all of them none of us are paid right now This isn't going to be a new videos every day kind of channel. It's going to take some time for me to, to assemble these. Um, what I would expect is about once a month, maybe twice a month if things go well, uh, a large upload of a block of re videos that cover related topics. Uh, I'll certainly be putting together um, playlists so that the different topics can be brought together easily by any interested viewers. And I'm planning also on starting a related video blog channel that will hopefully have weekly updates where I will just talk, not in five minute instructional increments, but talk about things like um, study skills, um, how you handle certain topics, why certain topics are the way they are in biology, uh, and, and my view of the state of play as it is uh, in the sciences and science education. Uh, but in terms of the main videos, about once a month. That's a bit of a secret for right now. I've got a video blog post that'll explain that later. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait. Sure, I'm game. Let's just keep it clean. Yeah, actually, I'm named for my grandfather, my maternal grandfather, uh, who was himself um, a preeminent educator uh, at the K-12 level, specifically in the high school level. And yeah, I was named for him, and I'm, I've followed in his footsteps, not necessarily meaning to. I didn't set out to, uh, but but he's someone I deeply admire, and uh, yeah, I am named for my grandfather. Oh, there's no, that's an easy one. Uh, Father Charles Sweeney is my high school chemistry teacher. Uh, got me interested in doing uh, research. You know, I, I, I got into science fair stuff. I qualified for the International Science Fair when I was a senior in high school. Um, he was more influential on me, both in terms of getting me excited about doing science, but also in thinking about how I teach science than just about anybody else um, who I've ever had at any level. Um, I miss him deeply. Actually, that's his obituary on the shelf behind my right ear. Kind of like this, but younger and skinnier. I'm sorry, you were asking me if I'm wearing pants? Fine, yes, I'm wearing pants right now. I always wear pants when I'm on camera. Even when I'm shooting my videos where you only see me from the waist up, I'm always wearing pants. Sometimes I'll wear shorts if you can't see me from the waist down, but even sometimes when you do see me from the waist down, I choose to wear shorts. It didn't come out right. That's not really my thing. Um, I can do the worm if you want me to. That was cold. What? Oh gosh, um, I'm happily married. I've been married for ugh, almost 20 years now. No, I said I'm married. See, I've got the ring on and everything. Happily married. Don't do that to me, man. Well, I guess it depends on who you're asking. If you're asking me or my wife, you're not going to get the same answer. I'm sorry, what was the question? Well, duh, a woodchuck would chuck all the wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood. I guess it depends on what you consider a shih tzu. Usually, right, Bob.